Fuck. The kids were in the water crying and screaming. They kept screaming out, to get under the boat, get under the boat. I, the captain who helped to rescue 12 people who were tossed into the choppy waters of the Cape Cod Canal is describing the chaos. He pulled eight children and one adult from the water after their boat flipped. And tonight, one of those children is hospitalized. WBZ's Christina Hager is live with more in Wareham. Christina? Lisa, the Coast Guard telling us today this was a 23-foot boat called a Four Winds Bow Rider. Uh, and the first rescuer, another boater, said the people on board were three families from Ireland with children ages 8 to 13, and one of them is now fighting for his life. Mayday, mayday, mayday. That's the voice of Martin Van Breams, who had passed this boat overturned in choppy water at the entrance to the Cape Cod Canal. Twelve people tossed overboard. Uh, one child is missing, submerged underneath the vessel. Over. He describes the scene to us by phone. The kids were in the water crying and screaming. They were, of course, most concerned about the kid that, they, that wasn't located. They kept screaming out, there's a kid under the boat. He and his crew, seen here, pulled out as many as they could. The kids were screaming, crying, they were shivering, they were, one child was hyperventilating. By then, other rescuers had arrived. Assistant Harbor Master from Marion, Adam Murphy, the first official to jump in without any diving gear. It was a good three or four foot dive down to get a look up underneath it. The moments became more frantic as parents called out for the eight-year-old boy still unaccounted for, Environmental Police Lieutenant Matthew Bass. But because it was actually pretty deep and the waves were uh, big, we couldn't get that far under. We brought him up under the hull of the boat and started CPR there. A day later, at the closest pier in Wareham, local fishermen say it's a notoriously tough spot. As you go forth into the channel, then all of a sudden you're into a five mile an hour current that can take the boat sideways. At last check, that boy is in critical condition in the hospital. Now, according to environmental police who are now investigating, everyone involved was wearing a life vest, which is how they say they were finally able to find that boy when they did. On Cape Cod, Christina Hager, WBZ News.